to get in there. Hey guys, today we rigged the AS33 ME for the first time here at the Aero in Friedrichshafen. Let me show you all the details and my favorite part of the glider. This feels so great to sit here in the new glider. Um, on one side it is nearly the same as in the HD29, but yeah, it just looks nicer. Especially, I really love the new interior here. Also the specs we made with the color choices and so on. It's, it's better than expected and that's, that's so wonderful to um, yeah, do all this. And it's a really long process to think of all the different aspects, the color on the outside, the paint scheme and so on, but also on the insides, the instruments. But yeah, just let's have a closer look what we installed here, what we have here. Um, I would say we will begin with the instruments, instrument panel. So now we powered up all the devices here. Um, uh, let's go through all the instruments here. Well, first of all, we have a lot of avionics instruments in here. Um, this one is the air control display combined with the air com with the radio and also with the VT1 uh, transponder and um, it is also our altimeter, our official altimeter, this display. So we have three different devices included in here, so we don't need many of other instruments. Of course we also um, need to have a compass installed because it's a motor glider um, then here we have the air traffic display in combination with the uh, power flam fusion. We don't have GPS fix for now because we are here in the hangar in the big hall. Um, then in the center we have our Stiefly Nav 70 um, in combination with the Leros Dual Gene SS version. And then here, that's the test device uh, as a display for the Leros. Of course, the speed indicator, the airspeed indicator. And then I have an AlexNav S10 in here um, because I need some logger to lock the electric propulsion system. And there's only this option available. So I use this one and it's also a backup logger. Um, the other logger is the Flam, the power flam fusion. Then here you can see the bug wiper switches. Um, I installed the Lamina Aerotech electric bug wiper motors. By the way, I really love the fitment of these bug wipers. It's so flat, really perfect for the aerodynamics. And then of course here, this is the engine control unit um, where we can also yeah, test here, retract the engine or the motor um, but this program here is now specifically uh, limited so that we can't power up the motor so that there are no dangerous situations here at the air um, so it's only a simulation but we can retract the engine and put it out yeah that's it basically here with the instrument panel um, I really love the design, especially also with the air avionics displays here all around um, with our Stiefly Nav in the center. Um, yeah, and then of course the, the carbon fiber panel, which also looks really cool, really sportive and um, exclusive as well. And perhaps you wonder why we have this switch here. Um, that's an emergency switch for the, um, to, to cut off the power from the batteries in the wings. Um, especially if you have an accident um, the other helpers they need to have a switch where they can just press and they know there is no voltage in here no no high power yeah that's it with the panel that's it with the instrument panel let's have a closer look at the propulsion system 
The AS33ME is an 18 meter wingspan glider for the 18 meter class and it's the latest generation and also has um, flaps so that you can adjust the profile to the speed and it's yeah very efficient. The glide ratio is uh, about 57 to 1 so with one kilometer of height you can glide 56 kilometers which is really really a, a great performance and a great efficiency. But what's great here with the wing area is that it's only 10 square meters so we get to a wing loading up to 60 kilograms per square meter and uh, which makes it even better at high speeds to fly with this glider compared for example to the ASD29 we have more wing loading we can fly faster um, which is great which we all want to do um, the ME in the AS33 ME that's for the propulsion system this glider has a 35 kilowatt uh, electric motor of course with a propeller here and you can retract it um, when you want to fly a glider the batteries are in the wings we have 8.6 kilowatt hours of batteries there and then let's have a closer look into the engine compartment Let's start here um, at the front. Um, you can see here the spindle, which allows us to retract the motor. So here, this is the big speed controller with the cooling ribs and the speed controller is air-cooled. That's why these engine doors here won't close so that you get good ventilation here uh, when you use the motor and you don't have any problems with overheating, especially that interesting in uh, countries where it's warmer um, like in the United States and Texas where I will fly with this glider uh, in the World Gliding Championships there it's really important that all these things are working reliably and you don't have any over temperature issues. Of course Schleicher tested a lot uh, and certified the whole system but yeah as a customer it's also interesting to see if it really works without any issues. Okay, and then let's go to the end here. We can see a GPS or GNFF antenna. That's a second antenna for our Leros barometer system. Um, and here at the end of these uh, engine doors, we use glass fiber so that we get a GPS reception here. Here in the back, we have the retractable tail wheel, which is new compared to the ASG29 and also here these fairings um, they are smaller. From this angle you can see the elliptical shape of the leading edge and also that the depth is really short here um, because of the small wing area. That's really really amazing. And then of course we have these fairings which are also smaller than at the ASG29 and also the inner and outer wing uh, tanks for the water balloon. So, the HD29, we did not have the outer wing filled with water, only the inner wings. But here we have two separate options also to dump the water bullet. And then let's get to this, to my really favorite part of this glider. The winglet, especially also the winglet design. Perhaps it's not so easy to see why I made this shape. But if you have a closer look at the logo, the Stiefly logo at the front, it's just the middle section used here. And that's the shape. I think it really is amazing here for this shape to yeah, break it up a little bit and so on. Um, and then of course, uh, up to now you have not seen the silver color here or the light gray color. And the fuselage will get a new the paint scheme uh, after the aero. For now, it is only some vinyl wrap there. But after the aero, they will paint it in the design of the LS3. So there's a lot more grayish color coming in there as well. Yeah, but also like this here, um, it is already amazing. I really love the the quality, the finish and so on of the glider. Um, yeah, it's really perfect. Can't wait to fly with it. And I hope you come along, say hi here at the Aero and visit us in the next days.